Hi guys, in this video I want to show you how to sculpt eyes more easily. Now in the previous video we sculpted these eyes that we see over here, but as a beginner sculpting these eyes can be a little bit uh, challenging, a little bit tricky, and it's also crucial that you get the eyes looking right as it's the area that the, the person looks at the most compared to any other feature of the body. So I just want to show you an easier way that you can sculpt realistic looking eyes. But before I go there, we need to take into account a few things. The eyes have this sort of almond kind of shape. There's thickness all throughout and it's even thickness all throughout. It doesn't like taper off at the end. It stays evenly thick all throughout. And there is a lacrimal caruncle or a tear duct in this area over here that we have to take into account. Another thing we have to take into account is that the eyelids wrap around the eyeball. Like this end of the eye uh, wraps further to the back than the lacrimal caruncle area. The ends of the eyes has to have a bit of a, a pinching effect or a sharp effect over here. It, it can't be smooth, otherwise that sort of kills the realism of it. There has to be a distinct upper eyelid and a distinct lower eyelid. Okay, The size of the lower eyelid and the upper eyelid can be variable, but generally they're quite thin. So here I have the, the uh, prior version, so I'm going to save a new copy. To quickly get that realistic eye looking shape out of the box, we're going to make use of uh, polygon modeling. Back to the layer tab, select the eyeball and we'll go ahead and hide the head for now. We're just going to work with the eyeball. Okay, let's tap into edit mode. What we'll do is we'll go to the side view by hitting 3 on our numpad and selecting this half of the eyes. Also I'm going to turn on toggle x-ray and deselect everything. So select none. I'm going to ALT click this loop over here, SHIFT S, cursor to selected. I'm doing that because I want to have the 3D cursor right in the center of the eyeball. Then I'm going to go ahead and select none again. Then uh, click and drag the half of the eyeball, like so. Hit SHIFT D, then rotate R90. Oops, sorry. Change this from median point to 3D cursor. Rotate R90, negative, so hit the minus key. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to scale it up a little bit. Maybe that much. In terms of how far it should go out, we want to make this from like from here to here is the thickness of your eyelid. So here's where you can have a lot more control and get more, get more of that even thickness throughout the eyelid, which is crucial to making the eyes looking realistic. Don't make it look like very, very light. You have to make the thickness noticeable. Okay. Once you've done that, uh, go ahead and select the ends like so. So go ahead and select the ends and then hit E to extrude and then hit S to scale and then move your mouse inwards. Okay, go relatively deep and then just hit E once more, Z axis and then just scale it in, doesn't matter where you really put this because we're not going to really be seeing that. Okay, so hit Control L, that will select all the linked vertices, and uh, then hit P and uh, select selection. So that will se separate this into its own mesh. So if I tab out now and select just this one, and tab into edit mode again, I can select everything by hitting A or select all, and hit Shift D and rotate 180 to create the bottom eyelid. So we have something, if I turn off uh, toggle x-ray, we should have something that looks like this. The edges are smooth is because we still have the subdivision modifier enabled over here and also the mirror modifier enabled which we borrowed from the eyeball modifier. So this will be called the eyelids but it doesn't matter about naming this one, we're going to remove that soon. Now go into edit mode, go into side view and just simply rotate it until you have an open eye. Select none, select one vertex and then hit Control L to select the entire top connected area and then rotate this to open it upwards, maybe around about there. What we want to do now is we want to bring back the head and as you can see we're starting to get that, that nice eye looking shape. Let's see how far we need to move it out. So grab Y and just move it out a tad. Or actually, let's move it back in. 
Yeah, I think a roundabout there would be good. Select the head mesh again, go to sculpting, and then we're just going to draw or cut out the areas where, where it's intersecting with the eyelid and try to nudge out a nicer eye shape. Okay, and then we'll just draw in a bit of a form over here. And then hit S to smooth. All right, so we should have something that looks like this. We've easily achieved some of our objectives already. We have even thickness around the eyelids. Uh, we have a pointed end for the eyelid corner. And in this corner, we still need to add in the lacrimal crunkle. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So click the clay strips brush and just draw in an area for the lacrimal crunkle. Oops, sorry, that's too far. Hold down control on your keyboard and just draw something like that. Going back to our eyelid again, we need to do a few more things. We need to make that sure that the top eyelid hangs further than the bottom eyelid. Let's go G, Y and move it out a little further. Let's select both of these ones, so L that one as well. And then move this one down all together. I think we should have some sharpness over here, so Control R and include some sharpness. Okay, so the eyelids are looking a lot more thicker. But I still think we can move this one further out. G, Y. And maybe open this up. Cool. Alright, so once we've done that, with just the eyelids, we can hit apply on the subdivision surface modifier and apply on the mirror so it becomes a standalone mesh. Then we simply remesh this one with the initial object. So select your head mesh, then shift select your eyelids, then hit control J or object join to make them all as one mesh, like so. Okay, now in sculpting, we can't really blend them two together yet because uh, they're still separate kind of meshes. I sort of want to blend them all together as one connected mesh. So the way to do that is by going to remesh, making the size quite small, maybe 0 0.05. Select preserve volume or fix poles just to make sure everything looks okay. And then simply hit remesh. So, Alright, so straight away it becomes one standalone mesh. And all the vertices are equal, equally distributed amongst each other. Okay, so we have the uh, eyes now blended in with the mesh. So now it's just a simple case of going to the clay strips brush and actually dr drawing in the lacrimal crunkle, or actually go to the grab brush and tweaking the shape of the eyes. So it should come down actually like that. Remember how we have the almond shape, this part of the eyes comes uh, abruptly down and this one also goes a little further up okay and here it's actually all okay and then we can go to shift c to the crease brush sorry and then just draw in a little bit of a, a crease over there and that's looking good now go to the clasers brush and we'll have to draw in the lacrimal caruncle so for this one, I think I want to use the Dinoturbo. And let's just draw draw in where... This is the outline of where the lacrimal caruncle will be. So I have to draw from the outside, not from the inside. So keep the flow of the eyes going. This is adding a bit more form around over here. And hit S just to smooth everything. So we now have a basic indication of where the lacrimal caruncle will be. Now go to the clay strips and hold down control and just draw in the lacrimal caruncle. And let's blend out the eyes to fit in like so. Okay, so we have that. Now I can go to S to smooth smooth out these areas over here smooth out these areas over here 
also smooth these areas over here and here and here as well so you can see how quick we've just created the eyelids for the eyes so we need to now spend a lot of time detailing the eyes a bit more Don't rush it like I did, but that's the basics of creating realistic looking eyes using the polygonal method. So you manually create the eyelids, you remesh it with the original sculpt, and then you sculpt in the lacrimal uncle, add in the layer of fat, and just do the usual kind of tweaks uh, around the eyes, adding in all, in all the fats and the muscles and everything like that. And then in no time, you'll start to have great looking eyes with Blender. So don't worry about it, don't think of it as cheating. The whole point of creating a realistic sculpture is to get a realistic looking representation of a human face anyway. So if there's any means you can do to get there as quick as possible, don't feel ashamed to do it. And of course, use reference images. I admit right now to sculpt this entire eye, I didn't really use any reference images. I should have. I probably would have got better looking results if I did. Always try to make use of real reference images whenever you try to sculpt any kind of organic being in Blender. All right, so that's it. I hope this tutorial has been useful to you and in the next video we'll continue to move on to the nose. Thanks for watching.